Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews video. Today we are looking at King Brod for the Sons of Bayamat for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So first of all, just want to say a massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us a free early review copy to have a look at on the uh, the channel and paint up for the site. Yeah, the Sons of Bayamat are a cool army. They came onto the Age of Sigmar scene a couple of years ago. Equivalent, I guess, to Imperial Knights in, in Warhammer 40,000 and an army of monsters. Um, the initial Mega Gargant kit built one of three models. Um, we also had the old um, Man Crusher kit, which had a little, a little bit of variety to the army. But one of the problems that you've had with the, the Sons of Bayamat is you've only really had that limited pool of models. So Games Workshop are releasing King Brod, which actually builds a couple of new models. So we've got the, the king of the, uh, the Gargants himself, King Brod, but this set also builds any of the old Mega Gargants, so the Kraken Eater, the Gatebreaker, or the War Stomper, and also builds another new build of giant, the Beast Smasher, who um, looks to specialise in killing monsters. Um, they did a bit of a preview of his rules over on Warhammer Community, and he can trade in all his attacks for a single attack that does 5d6 damage, so looks really, really cool. Um, for this video, I'll probably be building it as King Brod because I think he looks cool, but I'll definitely be picking up a um, a Beast Smasher as well to add to my um, my Sons of Bayamat force. So, what we're going to do in this video is open it up, have a look at the sprues, see how it goes together, see what the additional sprues are added for the, for the new builds of Giant, uh, and then towards the end of the video, I will have King Brod built and painted to show you what he looks like in the flesh and how he stacks up against the other Mega Gargants. Now obviously the, the main kind of body and legs um, is the same um, kit essentially as the original Mega Gargant kit and then there was new feet, the new weapon arms and head and stuff that goes kind of on top of that as well. So again very similar to the way that Games Workshop did the Imperial Knight releases, come out with the original kit and then an upgrade frame that builds another couple of variations. So this is cool because it means they can expand the Sons of Bear map, you know, every couple of years or so by just releasing a new sprue and having a bigger box with them all in. So without further ado, let's crack this open and have a look inside. So yeah, I, I was a big fan of the original kits. I got three of them to build one of each. Um, so I'm going to have to do the same here and uh, make another two. This guy is broad and then the new giant as well. So we'll have a look at the instructions in a bit, but first of all we'll have a look at the sprues. Now, looking at this, that is one from the original one, I believe. So, we won't look at that too much. Like I say, most of the bits on here are going to be the same as on that original Mega Gargant kit. So, we have got a full video of that as well. So, uh, yeah, make sure to check that out if you we're looking at the original one on that video. I've got some size comparisons to other um, other large monster kits, so Archeon, for example. Um, this again looks like part of the core Mega Gargant kit, so nothing too new there. Uh, this one again, this got the Kraken Eater bits in, so it is good. At the time of filming this, I don't know if this kit replaces the existing Mega Gargant kit or if this is an addition to it. If it replaces it that's cool because you've got one box that can build all five. Uh, if it's an addition to um, and I don't know I assume a higher price point again at the time of filming I don't know the price of this set I will um, put it in the comments because by the time I edit this I should know how much it is. Um, then obviously but you'll have the box that builds one of three or a box that builds one of five so personally it makes sense to me if this does replace it, but again, I'll confirm on screen now if that is the case. So now we get the brand new sprue for the two new Gargants. So we've got a few new bits here, a new back piece. We've obviously got a couple of new weapon pieces, the kind of headdress of um, King Brod himself. We've also got a couple of new heads on here as well. So. While each of the Mega Gargants will have the same kind of like body and legs, and it is a shame we haven't got a slight variation on that. Um, it's a problem they had with the Imperial Knights as well. Obviously, it's changing the pose of the giant would need a lot of new sprues to the point where it's a brand new kit, 
where for this essentially they've only had to produce a new sprue, a single sprue, in order to add two new flavours of Giant. So I don't think it's as no noticeable with the Giants because a lot of the silhouette is changed by these. Like if you look at King Broad, he looks more upright because we've got these big kind of pillar elements. So they've been quite clever with how it goes together. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to building this up. Like I say, at the end of the video, we will have him all built up. Um, same size base as the standard Mega Gargant as well, so nothing different there. What we will do is have a quick look through the instructions, particularly how um, King Broad goes together. So like I say, you get all five variations in here. The two that we're really going to be looking at is King Broad and the Beast Smasher, um, because they're, you know, obviously the new ones. Main assembly then is going to be exactly the same as your standard Mega Gargant. That is the kind of core bit that all the other pieces stick onto. And then King Broad's got three toes on each foot, so a little bit different than the standard one. And again, adds a bit of variety to the kit as well. And I guess really there's nothing to stop you using those feet in one of the other builds as well, if you've got multiple Mega Gargants of the same type and you want to mix them up a bit. Uh, and then again, a lot of this kind of goes together in a similar way to the other ones. I think in the of assemblies, I think what I will probably do is maybe build it up to the neck and then build the head separately so I can kind of paint that alone. These bits are probably fine sticking straight on. Um, depends how it overlaps with the with the head. I'll have a bit of a play with that. Um, but it should, I suspect, you should be able to build the head as a separate sub-assembly um, build the weapon as a separate sub-assembly because that's just going to obscure, well not obscure but make it hard to get into some of the detail on the belly so I'm thinking if I kind of build that as is, build that as is, have that separate have the head separate, have the main body is probably how I'm going to go about building it um, and then the little the little dudes, I forget what they're called, yeah, creepers I think they're called and um, I'll probably just base them separately, paint them up and then attach them to this once it's completed as well so yeah, looking forward to painting them up. He uh, he should be a bit of fun. Now the other new build that's available in the box is the Beast Smasher. This um, looks very similar to which one is it? The Gatebreaker. Uh, yes, I believe it uses the majority of the pose of the Gatebreaker. So the same arm on it, the same little kind of gate motif, but it's got a different kind of like um, head on it, and a completely new weapon as well. So this is the big kind of uh, anti-monster weapon that it punches the uh, the giants to death with. Um, I'd be interested to see when we get the new battle tome as well um, how how the allied element works. So obviously we've got like named mega gargants that can be taken by um, multiple different forces. So presumably the the new gargant will fit the bill for that as well. So that's pretty fun. And then the rest of the instructions is the same as the standard Mega Gargant kit. So it goes through the other three builds that you can do. I suspect most people picking this up will be picking up King Brod or the um, the, the Beast Smasher. So, and then in the back you get some basic rules. I'm not going to go too deep into these because, you know, things might be different from the, from the battle time. So I don't want to kind of give people false hope. Um, I guess a quickie. Four attacks, hitting on threes, wounds on threes, minus two rend and five damage on these rules for his main weapon, so that's pretty cool. He's got 40 wounds. Um, one thing I noticed through these as well, all Mega Gargants now have a movement of 10 as well. So that's uh, that's quite interesting again. I'm not going to look into them too much because I suspect a lot of things will be dependent on special rules and stuff within the uh, the battle tome. So we'll look at that in the battle tome review separately. But what we're going to do now is jump to the future and have a look at the completed King Broad model. And here is a look at the completed King Broad. And I've got to say, it is such a cool kit. Um, obviously the, the main body is the same as the, uh, the other Mega Gargants, but there's quite a few different bits here to give him a different silhouette to the other Mega Gargants that we've seen so far. I really, really enjoyed painting this guy. Really fun one to do. Um, quite a few different kind of textures on here. That mixes it up from the other Mega Gargants. Um, I love the little creepers that are kind of like hiding on his back and on his spines. 
it's so so fun so yeah thoroughly enjoyed um painting this guy up he should be fun to use in games as well um we have got a full review of the sons of Bayamat battle tome up uh, today on the site alongside this too so um so yeah we've done a full written review and a video of that so i'll link those in the description it's um yeah it's it's cool to see more Mega Gargants released for the um, the Sons of Bayamat. Obviously, this this kit's got an alternate build too, so I'll probably be picking up another one of these to uh, to paint up as that. And then I've got all the different Mega Gargants represented, um, which is fun. If we bring the camera in to have a look at some of the details on them as well, hopefully this keeps the focus. It is a really really gorgeous kit. I love his weapon. I um I'd love to see the creepers kind of like expanded out to a to a unit that the uh the Sons of Bayamat could take as like an infantry unit or something. That'd be pretty fun. Kind of like nobblers for the uh, Ogamore tribes. But um obviously at the minute those are the only creepers that we've got. I hope it's something that they see expanded. I kind of hope at some point as well. If they do add some more variants in the future, they do something akin to the uh, the Chaos Knights kit, and we get a different body and legs, and then add some more varieties to that. Obviously, the um, the way this kit works, it's um, you know quite clever that they can just add an additional sprue to the box in order to uh, give us another two Mega Garden varieties. But I would like to see a, a, a different kind of build of, of giant at some point i think that'd be fun but certainly adds a lot more variety to the air uh, the sons of bayamat so that's fun um so yeah so again massive thanks to games Watch for sending us a review on over to uh to paint up and, and show off on the site like i say we have got the sons of bayamat um video and uh written report over on the spruce and bruise website um so yeah check those out if you are interested in the new battle tome we've also got the new lumineth realm lords battle tome up today and the new Land Raider Proteus for Horus Heresy. So lots of goodies up on the site today. If you have enjoyed the video, we do loads of Age of Sigmar content on here. We've got unboxings and battle reports and reviews and all that kind of stuff. So if you have liked this, why not give us a uh, subscribe on here. Um, if you'd also like to support the site, if you order your King Brod through our affiliate link to Element Games, um, you'll save money on the RRP and we get a little kickback as well, which helps go towards... Uh, paying for all this so yeah thanks again for watching hope you uh, enjoy building and painting your king broad and uh, we'll see you soon